Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today is My Choice Tuesday, and I'm so excited for this one, you guys. Yes, it is a recommendation you've been making a lot, but also it's my choice because I love a cappella groups, and in particular, I almost always love the bass of the a cappella groups the most. So we're going to be listening to Home Free, and they have one of the best basses out there, Tim Faust, and they're teaming up with Avi Coplin, who's the bass from the Pentatonics, and they're going to be performing a cover version of Ring of Fire. I'm so excited. Okay, whew, let's get to it. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fire. Um, this is a great little intro. I think it's an intro. It might still keep going. Not sure. Um, but it was cool because we had, I think it was Tim and then Avi. So your two bases started it off. Uh, it was really interesting hearing those voices one after another. Avi has like so much smoothness and like, it was like more, uh, had like more depth in the tone. And it was interesting. Uh, Tim's felt like a little more clear. And then you have Austin, who's like the baby face tenor. That's how I remember who he is. I look for a baby face. Sorry, Austin. Hope that's not offensive. Um, it was just how I remember the guys in Home Free because I'm not as familiar with them yet. Uh, I think we have also in this video, I think we're supposed to have, I saw already um, Beardy Tenor Man, uh, Rob is his name. And then I'm guessing that we'll see, um, we'll see their beatboxer. Adam, I think is his name. And then this is in 2014. So we probably should have Adam's brother as well. Uh, I think his name is Chris. So uh, we'll look for those people, people as they come up. The other thing that's super awesome is they're using ooze in the background, which you guys have heard me talk about before as being a really cool way to draw your audience in. It's really good acapella arranging. And I also loved that the tempo, so the the speed, the rate uh, of the piece, they played around with that during Austin's solo. So it's not on a click track. A click track is like boom, 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 really steady as it's going by. It's easier to produce music if it's to a click track. But this is was not at all recorded to a click track because they had a really lovely uh, retardando, so like it slowed down a little bit. Uh, and the ooze still were really perfectly timed. That was delicious. Let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Let's go right here. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery Beatboxing caught me by surprise. I thought they were going to keep going slower here, and then they just, whoo, they took it off. Uh, and wow, this man can beatbox. There are so many cool textures that he's adding in there. And in the voices, they have lots of cool textures that they're adding as well. Um, I am so into it. And then you could hear the texture also shift as it sounded like they got to a new part. Whew, whew, that was awesome. Let's catch that one more time. Here's that, that retard I was talking about that goes slower. Their timing is great though. Fire. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down in the flame. 
flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Wow! Listen to Avi's bass line there. Man, he's killing it. So Tim is singing the lead in this part and you hear Avi's down there going like doom, 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 doom. I can't go that low, of course. I'm a, I'm a lady, but even if I were a man, I probably wouldn't be able to go that low. That's very, very, very low. Wow, I love his bass line. Okay, just a little bit more. Burns, burns, the ring of fire. Oh, so good. The ring of fire. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. And I fell for you like a child. Whoa, the fire <laughs> What was that? I was like, I started laughing at the high part and then Avi dropped down like a, like, was it the two octave top? Wow, it was, it was a huge drop. He, wow. Whoa. Um, also, uh, beatboxing sounds like a drum kit. There's so many sounds that he's got going on. It's really cool. I wish I knew more about beatboxing. It just, it's such a cool skill. And I love what it adds to great groups like this. It just has another texture. Ah, really cool. Okay, wait a second. What was that drop again? Uh, let's go back a little more. Let's see. There. Wow, he's got such a range. Whoa, the wild. <laughs> I, <fell into laughs> I need to hear it again. <laughs> you like a child. Whoa. Ah! So when you're up high like that, it takes different coordination, especially with your breath pressure. Um, the breath just has to kind of be like a little leaner and it has to be essentially more energized. And when you go low, your cords just have to like open up. You have to like, oh, and then you just send lots of warm air. It's a different kind of breath support. Uh, high notes and low notes have different kinds of breath support. So it's so cool to hear that rapid transition. Uh, I've studied lots of Mozart, sung lots of Mozart. He has lots of big jumps like that. They are difficult to coordinate. And Avi was just like so, so smooth about it. I loved it. It was so great. By the way, guys, if you want to learn more about singing, I have a course about it. It's called Demystifying Singing. It's on my website. You can learn more there. One more time. This was delicious. And I fell for you like a child. Whoa. Uh, so Avi's voice has like this, like more velvety depth in it. Um, but you can hear when Tim sings, he's got a little more clearness and Avi has a lot of clearness. So when he's even higher, Tim has a little more clearness, uh, clarity, I should say, in the middle tones. But you hear behind Tim's clear middle tones, you hear this like extra layer. I feel like he's like got a subwoofer that he can engage or something. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, also, it definitely is Chris. Chris is the guy with the hat on. He usually sings lead in the group. And I know that he uh, left the group to follow a solo career later on. Um, but I saw him in his hat. He's got like some scruff. That's how I remember Chris. Hat and scruff. And his brother is the beatboxer, Adam. Uh, okay, let's go back a little bit. Thing. And it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a <laughs> Oh my god, that drum fill was so good. Drum fill, beatbox fill. It sounds like a drum fill. Ugh, he's killer. I think that Tim has a chiaroscuro down. This is an operatic classical term, okay? Uh, it means that you essentially have both light and dark. 
Uh, he's got that ping that makes it has like a brightness to his voice. And then he's got this deep, deep sound as well. So he has that light darkness in his voice that tons of professional opera singers aim for. He just pulls it into this acapella, kind of a little bit folk country happening here. I love hearing that sound within this group. Love, love it. Drum fill time. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we need that again. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm stopping this so much. Uh, obviously loving every little bit of it. That was amazing. The higher harmony there and the drum fill. I went down, 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 and the flames went on. <laughs> it's like almost dubstep or something. Let's go back one more time. I went down, down. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire, wow. the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Whoa, talk about a subwoofer, what was that? Whoa, you notice how many notes I had to pluck out to see how low it was. That's because I didn't think it was as low as it actually is. It's, this is a, <laughs> a low G. That's a G zero. Uh, if uh, that's on a normal keyboard, uh, if you have like a, a 61, I think 61 key keyboard, which a lot of people have, that would not be on the keyboard anymore. Um, G zero though. So, oh, sorry, that's a G one, my bad, G one. So, uh, C, N, 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 N. yeah, that's a G1 there. Uh, and I have, I have never heard somebody sing that note live in my life, ever. That's ridiculously low. I've heard an A, so the note right above it, but that note is really low and it was really solid. It didn't even sound like it had vocal fry happening, which is what a lot of guys will use to get a little extra vocal extension down there. Let's hear that one more time. That was Tim, by the way. I think it was just Tim. Not sure. Maybe Avi was singing it too. The fire, the ring of fire. There's a little fry. There is a little fry in there. Just a tiny bit though. Wow. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. So I kind of wish that I'd been listening to that in a huge speaker system because that last note through a subwoofer, I bet it would just shake the entire room. You'd see like screws coming loose and furniture is falling apart. Ah, uh, I know what I'm gonna do when I finish recording now. <laughs> uh, beyond that, the arrangement of this piece was really, really good. You have those oohs to bring the audience in and do's and da's to really add more rhythm and texture to the piece. And then you heard the guys break into some really fun and uh, and also not just standard harmonies, but a lot of times they would do more unique harmonies. They would change it up on the words and create more climactic moments. That was really cool to hear. And in all of that, of course, you have the drum kit, AKA Adam. He's amazing. I didn't know you could make that many sounds. Um, Last time he amazed me with the sound of a harmonica. And this time I swear he, I don't even, I should go back and count sometime how many sounds he can make. It's mind blowing. He really truly sounds like an entire drum kit. Oh, I love these guys so much. The only qualm I have is that it's not long enough. I want more home free. I want to listen to more of their songs and I want to have songs of theirs that are like 15 minutes long because I just want to keep listening. They're awesome.
<laughs> Thank you so much for this recommendation. Thank you to my patrons who help me when I'm choosing between different high recommendations and also help me with background information on these bands. Uh, it's, it's a pretty awesome group of people. You can join if you want. There's a link in the about information of this video. I also have live video chats with my patrons every week, so that might be fun to check out. I do also have live chats with the premieres of videos here on YouTube on Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. So definitely come and join there. And if you don't want to miss out on that, you might subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. I'll hope to see you somewhere soon. Thanks.